Oh my God, this man is so awesome. He buried a plastic bottle filled with water underground. And on top of the bottle cap, he placed a weird looking object with a long hose. Then he used soil to seal and cover the plastic bottle. At the end, I realized what it means to be a master among the people. Then he made a rectangular frame with cardboard and put it on the ground above the bottle mouth. He also took out a small basin and poured cement and water to mix. Then the man poured the mixed cement into the cardboard frame. To make a cement platform, he wrapped the hose base in it and smoothed the surface. He also fixed a wooden block on the other end of the platform. Then he removed the cardboard and waited for the cement to solidify. The purpose of the wooden block was to stick and fix an electric motor on it to make the motor work properly. He also needed to equip it with a transformer. So at this point, can you guess what the man was making with the transformer? The power line was, of course, indispensable. So he set up a row of power poles next to it and pulled the wire from the poles to the transformer. The main line was set up. He could connect the wire from the transformer to the motor to make the line control easier. He also equipped it with a switch, and when he connected the plug to the main line and plugged it into the power strip. The device was completed. So at this point, you should be able to see what the man made. That's right, this was a water pumping and irrigation device for kids to demonstrate. The man wanted to use this water pump to water the garden. I had to admire his exquisite craftsmanship and wonderful creativity. So for this demonstration device, how many points would you give him?